Here on Hobby Farm Dream today, we're going to be making some sourdough bread. First of all, you're gonna need some bubbly sourdough starter, and that's what I have right in here. You're gonna need a half of a cup. So I'm pouring that into the half a cup here. And then that's gonna go in, into the bowl. You can see that a little bit going into the bowl. And then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna warm up some water in the microwave. I usually do, um, do it for about a, a minute, but you can check it. It needs to be between 105 and 115. If it's hotter than 115, that's too hot. And below 105 is not hot enough. So this is a cup and a half. So we're gonna pour a cup and a half of hot water into the sourdough starter. Okay, and then um, after that, we're gonna mix it. I've got a wooden spoon here I'm gonna mix it with. Just mix it till it's mixed together really good. Then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add three-fourths teaspoon of salt. So I go ahead and add that into the mixture. And this is kind of what it's going to look like. You can see what it looks like at this point. Um, it's just kind of really wet right now. The next thing we're going to add is we're going to add three cups of flour. And I've got that measured over here, the three cups of flour. So I'm just going to add that. And after you add the three cups of flour, you're gonna mix that together. As you can see, it's still gonna be like really sticky. And so the thing um, that you are going to do after this is add um, about, up to about another cup so that you can pull it away a little bit more from the sides of the bowl. So after you mix the three cups in and scrape the sides of the bowl, and you'll see that it's still pretty sticky. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little more. I'll take out of my flour, I'll take one more cup of flour. You may not need it all, so just add a little at a time. Just a little. Put that on the top, and then keep stirring it. You can see that, keep stirring it until it comes away from the sides. That's doing pretty good. I'm going to add just a little bit more. Okay, you kind of um, get the knack of it the more that you do it. And keep practicing. Don't give up. I know when I first started sourdough, it was kind of overwhelming to me. But once you do it quite a few times, then you'll get it too. And then what I like to do after I've stirred it pretty good with the spoon, I can get more of a feel of it if I do it with my hands. See, right now I'm picking it up with my hands, and I can tell it's a little too sticky. And so I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more flour and then just kind of pick it up with your hands and you'll see, get a feel for it, that it, it's starting to stick to your hands too much. Then you want to add a little bit more flour. Okay, so now I can tell it's getting a little still soft, but it's not sticking to my hands quite as much. Just a teeny bit more. And then I just kind of keep incorporating it in all together. And that feels pretty good right there. We'll see if it needs a little more. And you can always add a little more when you're stretching it too on the bottom to keep it from sticking if it starts sticking. So um, I wanna show you kind of what it looks like at this point. This is what it looks like at this point. You see how it's kind of cleaning a little away from the sides and it's kind of um, soft, but it, it's not super hard. It's just still a little soft. But just keep folding it together till it feels right. You can add just a teeny bit more flour if you feel like it's a little bit sticky. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add that into that and then I'm going to let it sit for 30 minutes. And then after 30 minutes, for the next couple hours, I will come and stretch and pull it and I'll video that in just a little bit. But for now, I just put it like this. This is what it looks like. And I let it put a cloth over the top and then just let it rest for 30 minutes. Hi, now's the time that you're gonna stretch and pull your sourdough after it's rested for 30 minutes. So what you're gonna do is you're just going to, I'll show this to you a little bit better. This is kind of what it looks like. If it's too sticky, you're gonna add more flour to it. You can add some flour on the bottom here underneath the dough also. That will make it so that um, it's easier to, to pull and to 
um, push down. It kind of, it's kind of like kneading, only you're pulling because the, the whole idea is to get as much air in here as possible. So that's what you're doing is you're trying to get as much air in the sourdough because that'll make it taste better. It'll make it look better. Um, it'll, it'll just be how sourdough is supposed to be. So go all the way around two times while you're kneading it. Can you see that? You keep kneading it around two times like that all the way around. And then when you're done, it should look something like this inside of your bowl. And then you just leave it in there again for another 30 minutes and you'll come back in 30 minutes and do the same thing all over again, stretch and pull. When the sourdough is doubled in size, then you will, and left on the counter for eight to 10 hours. After preheating, score your loaf and then put it back into the Dutch oven and put the lid back on.